Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Now I'm kickstarting my Goodwood Festival of Speed weekend slightly differently to usual. I've come down to a pub called The Half Moon, which is co-owned by supermodel and car aficionado Jodie Kidd. Tonight they are hosting a party for Pagani UK, but it's not just any Pagani party, Horatio Pagani himself is coming along and in fact his only sort of criteria for the evening was that he got to cook one of the courses for dinner. It's going to be a crazy night. So this is amazing. Uh, the owners of this huayra are talking about the seats and some, I think some things they don't like about the seats. And Horatio is just saying, yeah, yeah, we can make the seats higher. We can make the, we can change the seats, don't worry. I mean, they are literally customising and changing a car here at a garden party in front of a pub. Cash. Well, this has totally blown every expectation that I had for this evening. We have got the most insane lineup of Paganis. I think I counted eight of the rarest Sondas ever made and two Huayras. It's absolutely unbelievable when to see Horatio driving in, in that Barchetto, which is just a piece of art. It seems like the icing on the cake, but cake hasn't even been served yet. In fact, starters haven't been served. Everyone's just uh, having some drinks. The drones are going up. People are taking their photos. And then we're going to be getting on to dinner. So as everyone takes their seats for dinner, I'm going to try and give you a rundown of all the cars that are here. Now I might be the only one, but I really struggle to identify the various iterations of Zonda. There are so many different versions, customizations, personalizations, different names, and, and I, you know, I'm going to struggle. So I am going to have to look for visual cues, um, but it gives us a chance, I guess, to walk around the car and talk about them and talk about how amazing they are. There is some pro photography going on here as well, and a few guys still lurking around. But anyway, let's kick things off with two C so the earliest form Zonda, um, the kind of iconic shape where all these variations then came from. These are two Zonda S's. Um, Co-owner of the pub, this is his car on the left. Um, but yeah, really nice to see, actually so similar, but I actually kind of prefer the interior of this car here. Now, this is a very interesting car. When it pulled in, I thought it was a Cinque Roadster, one of the rarest Zondas out there, the road-going version of the Zonda R, but it's not. It's actually a Zonda F Club Sport, um, which is to be made to look like a Cinque, but this is from factory. This is how the car was ordered from factory. So it's like a Cinque tribute, I guess. And I would love to say, oh, you know, it's a cheaper way to buy a Zonda. You don't have to pay all the money for the Cinque, but this is still, what, a one or two million pound car? So it's not cheap. You're not really saving. Well, maybe you are saving money, but anyway. Very cool to see because it looks brilliant, but it's not actually a Cinque. Uh, moving on, we've got, uh, oh, see, this is where I'm going to struggle. Is that a Zonda F? So I think my cue is the rear wing. If you look here at the C12, the Zonda S, it's got that split rear wing. And here, I think if it's an F, it has the flat wing. Am I right there, people? I don't know. But a uh, fully clear carbon car here, which is super cool to see. And what's very nice, you can see it's all sort of, you know, uh, black or clear carbon, I suppose, with a little bit of a red detailing. Uh, red interior and then if you come around the back we have got red carbon as well there you go Zonda F um, but yeah that is a very very cool car to see this is a car I love the Zonda Nero now I don't know which car this was based on uh, originally oh Zonda F there you go Look, looking for those visual cues um, but this has just got some added bits on it lots of carbon again these front canards it's got that massive diffuser around the back a much more aggressive rear wing with a kind of like F1 styled F F duct, it's not a duct, but you know, it just added aerodynamics. The Zonda Nero, a one-off custom special, super cool to see. Uh, then we've got a Zonda S, I'm going for a Zonda S Roadster, because look, I'm going with the rear wing again in yellow. I do love a yellow Pagani. I think it's like a triple layer paint, looks amazing. And then the Barquetta, oh my God. One of three cars, I can't remember the price tag, I'm gonna have to look it up. It's a stupid amount of money. This is the most miles this car has ever done. Uh, it's coming 
coming to make its debut on the Goodwood Hill Climb. Uh, so far it's only done 60 miles and that's mainly being transported to and from shows where it's sat statically. So driving down here today they found out loads of different things about it. Horatio didn't know how to turn the radio on, they've had to change a lot of the mirrors, they've opened it all up, they've been checking different things but I love the look of this. I didn't actually like it at the Geneva Motor Show but out in the wild I think it's un freaking real. All the little details I hadn't noticed. For example, the tyres have got blue, it's the, uh, the co colour code colour coded Pirellis. On the left we've got blue. If we come round to the right, we have whitey cream. Anyway, very, very cool. The interior is absolutely stunning. This window line is unreal. Anyway, yeah, one of just three cars and I think a beauty. Um, then we've got another uh, Zonda S Roadster, maybe? And two Huayras at the end. Um, on the left, this is the V Edizioni. Uh, it's had some Yanomized touches, so some of you might recognise it from social media. Uh, and then a car that I have actually filmed uh, on, on my channel. Uh, a yellow Huara, quite an early Huara, I believe. Came into London uh, a few years ago now, uh, and I filmed that. But yeah, I mean, what an absolutely ridiculous line of cars. Some of the rarest Zondas and, you know, some really great Huayras here as well. And the value, I, I mean, I can't work out what the total value of this lineup is, but it's got to be tens of millions. So, yeah, anyway, I think everyone's taking their seat now. I'm a bit late. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Well, it sounds awful, but I never had like a like a well, you were allowed. Like this kind of job. You were allowed behind the bar. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, Jodie Kidd. Thank yes. you so much for having me tonight. It's an absolute It is amazing. This is the most beautiful pub I've ever been to my entire life. It is. It's well, basic my local local pub that was going to be, get sold uh, or was being sold, um, and developers were going to buy it and turn it into houses. So I said, right, can't. You like saved that. it. Saved it, and here we are. And we have. I mean, the most ridiculous. <laughs> like, I mean, not only is it beautiful here, but it's beautiful outside as well. Yeah, I mean, that's you know the usual. Kind sure, just having that. We sort of, have, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, ten car obsessors like we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right, you are going to pour an amazing pint for I, me right now. I don't know how this has come about, but suddenly Joe's like, you're going to come and pour a pint. So yeah, uh, yeah I don't then, know what okay, I'm doing. Okay, so there's the glass. There's the glass. That's what you're going to do, which is a Moretti. You know, I've never done this, but okay, I right, genuinely have. It's no, all about, you've got to get the perfect head. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds rude. This is a PG channel. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so I just yank. Yeah, yank it. Yank. Okay, like the whole... Yes, that's it. Maybe a little bit of a tilt. A little bit of a tilt. A little when bit do of I tilt. stop? Because this is a lot a of head. More, more tilt. Oh, I've just spilled some. More uh, tilt. I'm stopping. There I'm, we go. I'm, that's a lot. I mean, that's, that's going to be sat there a while. That's a big head. I haven't done well, have I? If you put it all the way down. All the way? Now? The way. Well, hang on. All yeah, the way really? down? Like okay, by the way, this is Brandon. Sorry, yes, it was, so we're, we're filming a piece here, but please yeah. step in and show me because I have no idea right. what I'm doing. So, hold it like that. Oh, hang on, I just wanted him to kind of like really mess it up and yeah. himself <laughs> in front of him. No, but I'm going to get pro level tips now. If you pull yeah, that all the way down and angle. Okay, so and straight down. Straight down. Straight down. down. Yeah, that's it. Oh, angle. and now. Oh. No. Oh. And this is so confusing. And who knew this was so difficult? There we go. The perfect, the perfect part, <laughs> ladies and okay. gentlemen. Well, once again, thank you for having me. Thank you for it's inviting me. It's been amazing. Enough. You guys need to come down and visit this place. It doesn't always have Pagani's on the lawn. No. Not always. No, but, not always. But there's other things here which will make up for it, I promise. Absolutely. Amazing. Well, should we go back to our food? Anyway, come yeah, on. You now have to drink Oh that. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the car after a fantastic evening. Everyone is just about to have pudding, but I need to head back and edit because tomorrow is Goodwood Festival Speed. I need to get there nice and early. I need to get some sleep tonight. I'm anyway, uh, but yeah, incredible. Huge thanks once again to Jodie for inviting me down. That pub, the Half Moon, is absolutely stunning. I'll put a link to it below. Please get down. Oh, very dark. Hold on, hold on. Light. How do I do this? McGann. It's very confusing. There we go. 
Hi. Uh, yes, if you're ever in this area, or actually if you're just looking for an excuse for an awesome meal, come and check this place out. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come.